Hi loves, Dre Mileta, girl from a brand away. Today I am back with some commentary. I'm super excited to make this video because Omarion has been king unbothered all year while April and Fizz pranced and pooched around the hip hop sets and everything else that they was doing, trying to uh, force this relationship down our throats. We weren't here for it, but you know, that's neither here nor there. Omarion said he's back, okay? Omarion said, when they go low, we get a check. Marion has just announced that he is going to be on a new Millennium Tour, Millennium Tour 2020, y'all. So if y'all didn't make it in the first round with B2K featuring Tiny Fizzle Pop, okay? And everybody else, don't worry because Omarion said he's coming back out. And it's just so Scorpio form for Omarion to pull this move because if y'all don't know, Omarion just had an interview with DJ Vlad. Y'all know he can kind of troll a little bit and he was asking Omarion those heavy hitting questions and Omarion was curving him, you know, slide to the left. Curving him every chance he got. He was just like, you know, I got some good projects coming on, going on and you know, he, he said he was happy for April and Fizz. He said the only thing I wish they did was change their narrative. And let me tell you, Omarion said, y'all ain't gonna change your narrative, I'll change it for you, okay? And now Omarion is going on tour and I cannot wait because let's be real, when they announced that they were going back on tour, Omarion was the lead singer. He sang all of those songs. I don't even know, I can't, I don't even know what Fizz's voice sound like, you know? I don't even know what Rasby voice sound like and that's no shade to Raz because I like Rasby a lot, I really do. And I, I met, I actually, I actually met Rasby when they were in Philly, um, when they were touring in Philly and I actually had a chance to meet Rasby. He is very like humble, down to earth spirited guy. I don't know, maybe I'll do a story time about that. Um, leave a comment down below if y'all want to know about my um, encounter with Raz B. But, you know, he said, you know, y'all boys, y'all can y'all can ying, 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 sing around here, but I'm about to go on tour with my homeboys. So they announced it's going to be Ying Yang Twins. It's going to be uh, Mario, Sammy, which who, which these were acts that were already on the tours before. Um, who else did they announce? Oh, uh, Pretty Ricky. Some other people, girl. But, um, you know, when it was first announced that he was going to do a Millennium Tour 2020, Jay Boog went on to say this. It's a great year. We got some things going on. And uh, Fizzle Pop ruined everything. Um, I wouldn't say he ruined everything, but about 99% of it, though. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with all you niggas. As y'all can see, Jay Boog was a little bit pressed, like, okay, well, ain't nobody talked to me, and I ain't doing no Eminem tour, and ain't nobody talked to me. Omarion said, listen, bro, I ain't even gotta talk to y'all no more, because let's, let's be real, Omarion had the hits. Omarion was the voice of this group. You get what I'm saying? He was a face, he was a voice, he was a brand, if anything. Now, collectively, the, the boys all together, well, I should say the men now, they definitely did their thing with B2K, I mean, this was back when boy bands were it. Early 2000s, girl, you cannot tell me Beyonce. I mean, you cannot tell me. Look, Beyonce too, cause she was in the mix. I still love Beyonce. But B2K was like it and I love, I specifically loved Omarion. Omarion always had those dance moves. He had the braids, he was swaggy, you know what I'm saying? Like he was coming hard. And the other boys, like I said, the other guys were one point too, but let's be real. Omarion was the glue to that. That's why when he was, tr that's why when he transitioned to his solo career, he was able to do so well. Y'all are forgetting. Fizz, you know, was making comments and April was on Instagram live, patting on her pussy and doing all this old nasty vulgar stuff. You know what I mean? Talking about how Omarion's such a terrible dad. Mind you, April Jones is the mother of his two beautiful children. And this woman really just, I, I guess she's the type of woman that's like, um, so if she can't get what she wants, she's going to attack him in the, um, you know, attack him the best way he could. And Fizz, you, you broke the bro code, but more importantly than the bro code, you, April, you are a woman. You carry this man's children in your womb, both of them. And you are letting his brother, his friend, his bandmate slide into your, into your, into your womb. That's crazy to me. And 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 y'all go ahead and, oh, well, April Jones, well, say what y'all want. I see y'all in the shade room, say what y'all want. April Jones is beautiful. April Jones, April Jones can get it. April find itself. April is trash, okay? I don't care how good you look on the outside. April has some issues 
maybe some mental health issues, some self-esteem issues. There's something going on because that's not what women do. Real women who can stand up on their on their stuff can't say, okay, well, yeah, this is what happens. And then again, maybe, maybe if, if they were to be so oh so in love, then Omarion wouldn't be at the center of that. After Omarion handled all DJ Vlad's questions with grace and class, Little Fizz goes on to Instagram and posts a picture with him on the phone and his caption is like on the phone with your baby mom, right? So, okay, Fizz, you still taking little cheap shots. And here's the thing. Like I said, if you were so happy, why is everything about, why is your relationship so centered about the fact that Omarion was sleeping with her and, and gave her two children? You get what I'm saying? Like, no man should be like, yeah, you know, I, I scooped her up now. Especially, like, we're not in high school. Like, these are grown men with lives and kids and families. Like, ew. Like, grow up. And really, I really just feel like it's a storyline. They both needed each other. It worked out good, great. But now, uh, Omarion said, you know what? I don't even need B2K for this bag. I'm about to go get it myself. So that's what he about to do. Oh, how did I, how could I forget? How could I forget? The other headliner on this tour is Bow Wow. Shop Moss, okay? And y'all can say what y'all want about little Bow Wow. Listen, I'm gonna say it for you. Bow Wow is so corny. Bow Wow is corny on that show growing up, Atlanta, growing up hip hop, um, whatever it is. Bow Wow has lied. Bow Wow has been physically abusive with women. He has just been all over the place. You know, I, Bow Wow definitely has a short man syndrome. But what y'all won't deny is Bow Wow had them hits. And if y'all don't remember, Omarion and Bow Wow had a joint album together. It was called like Face Off or something. They they pulled the uh, and Omarion talked about some, about this in an interview. He pretty much said that he took a playbook out of Jay Z and R Kelly when they did that tour. And the in the Millennium tour last year did well. They had a few arenas on that lineup with sold out with sold out tickets. You get what I'm saying? They are about to rake up. And them, Fizz, he can be over there posting all the pictures he want. April can do all the live streams he want because listen, it's not affecting his bag. You get what I'm saying? I love Omari Fede. This is true, typical Scorpio behavior. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to come at you like, yo, yo, I'm about to go deal with somebody you dealt with. He came back with the sting. Wow, take that, uh, here, hold that, Fizz. Be on the phone with this while you're at home, while I'm on tour. And if you know anything about the music industry, you know that these artists make the most money when they go on tour. And this is music, this is music that, that's been out. You get what I'm saying? He might come out with a new project and debut that in song that's gonna help with his streaming or whatever the case. Omarion had major hits with Bow Wow. Let me hold you down. Let me remind y'all, okay? Let me remind y'all. These were major bops, okay? Bow Wow alone. Do y'all remember the pandemonium? I'm getting hyped. Remember those posters? Girl, when I say this tour, mm, I make it to last one. I'm going to this one just because Omarion is so unbothered. They thought he was doing something. I know April, they probably both somewhere just punching the air right now. I can, I can guarantee it might be some problems brewing in paradise because I tell you what, he ain't getting to that check. Oh, and then let me tell you what Jay Boog said. So Jay Boog, uh, so after he made those comments about him, um, oh, ain't nobody going on tour, this, that, and the third. Ain't nobody going on tour, ain't nobody asked me nothing, so I don't know what y'all talking about. He then goes on to comment on the post to Pretty Ricky saying like, oh, you know, if y'all got room for me, I'm down. Like, yeah, now you wanna be down. Raz B has come out to say, you know, Omarion is like my brother, he deserves the world, and he does. I love Raz, and I ain't even, for real, I was never really checking for Raz. And then that all those things came out with the, you know, sexual abuse allegations, and I don't tolerate anything, any type of victim bashing at all. And a lot of y'all were coming at him, but you, you, I could just tell from being around him, he was a real, genuine, honest soul and spirit. Man, I'm so happy for Omarion. I'm gonna be here for it. I can't wait to see. So now my biggest question is, what's gonna come from their camp? What, what can they say now? But still do their little love and hip hop storyline while Omarion is touring the world, while Omarion is touring the States, living our early 2000 dreams, because I know I'm going. Who getting their tickets, me? Let's do it, okay? And then Omarion, this is the best. This is this is how you do it, y'all. Take notes. This is how you do it. I'm inspired right now. I feel like I wanna I wanna conjure up a a, a plan to get back at some of y'all. But you know I'm over it. I ain't even about to do it. I just wanted to come and give y'all my quick two cents. Congratulations to Omarion. He's been dealing with a lot. 
You get what I'm saying? Imagine a, having a, a man, not even a man that you know, but you grew up with. They were kids. Omari was 14 or something when they came out in B2K. He, he's 35 plus or however old he is. These are men. And from what I remember from the few clips that I saw on the on the B2 on the Millennium Tour, um, they were still moving and Omarion has been perfecting his craft. I don't know if I've been peeping and paying attention, but he's been in the studio. And uh, one thing about Omarion, he is under he's an undeniable entertainer. The way that man dance, girl, touch, boom, boom, boom. Touch, I'm hype. Mm. Hats off, hats off for Marion, and that's how you do it. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you like this content and conversation. As always, I am sending you love and light, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.